trim it a little bit here first. No, that's not any pus. Just a hard, hard callus here. Yep. So now let's go ahead and shave some of this down. So this patient came to me uh, after she had had problems with her toe. She had a prior hammer toe surgery on this same toe. And what she ended up having was a fusion of the toe joint, which is a common procedure for hammer toes. The problem is, she explained, is that she started developing this knot on the side of her toe and uh, the prior doctor had given her antibiotics and uh, she did find it, but as far as any infection, but she kept developing this very painful, you know, knot on the side of her uh, second toe there. And so we looked at it, I looked at it, and basically took off most of the top part of that skin. And here you can see me shaving down most of this hard callous skin. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. I'm using a number 15 surgical blade. This is the same type of blade I use in my open surgeries where I'm actually cutting through soft tissue. So I wanna be very, very careful as I'm gently taking off layer by layer. Much easier to do it this way than trying to take it all off in one big chunk. Uh, the only time we were able to do that is in the beginning when you saw me use the uh, actual the nail nipper and remove a bit of that hard, hard top layer. So the reason why this patient's even developing this is really because there was a misalignment of the hammer toe fusion. The part of the joint of uh, the bone is sticking out, causing undue pressure to that area of the skin. And when she walks and when she's in her shoes, that area of the toe rubs up against the other side of the toe. And the skin's way, and it's natural to do this, is what happens is to protect itself. And by protecting itself, that means building up more skin. And unfortunately, when it builds up too much skin, it will cause a deep-seated callus to develop. And essentially, when it gets this deep-seated and it kind of sticks out, it looks like a corn kernel, basically. And that's where we get the term corn. Um, not sure who came up with that. Maybe all you historians can comment below on the history of the development of a corn as the term for this foot ailment. So once we do this, she'll get relief. Uh, the problem is this is only really palliative, meaning if this is left alone and given enough time, this corn will redevelop and she'll be in the same position as she was when she first came to see me. There are softening creams. Uh, there is prescription strength uh, urea creams that do soften the callus and corn tissue and if you maintain that and are very good about utilizing that regularly um, reg did that regular regular is that a real word regular often how about often um, that will help soften it so this is something that uh, I will probably need to eventually do a surgical procedure on, which is essentially shaving down the bone. That will give her long-term relief here. But in the meantime, the best thing to do is essentially keep those two toes separated. Well, how do we do that? We actually have a nice little silicone 
toes separator, which many of you have seen. You probably have seen them in the stores. They do work very well, and you'll see me put one on here. I like the one that we provide in our office uh, from Petafix, which essentially has a ring uh, to it, which allows it to stay in place. And she'll wear this in her shoes, and whenever she's ready for surgery, we will take care of her. Hope you enjoy.